Hello, my name is Peter Summer and I teach saxophone here at Colorado State University in Fort Collins. And today I hope I can provide some helpful tips to help you prepare for your all-state band auditions, as well as any other auditions that may use this material from Foxman's Selected Studies for Saxophone. The most important thing to keep in mind when preparing for any concert band audition is that the objective aspects of the audition will be the easiest for the adjudicator to evaluate. These aspects include steady tempo and accurate intonation, as well as the more obvious features such as accurate notes and rhythms. If the selection includes written articulations and dynamics, it is very important that we perform these precisely and consistently as well. And while there are more subjective points that an adjudicator may take into account in an audition, such as tone color, creative use of pulse, or variations in vibrato, the foundation of a good audition is clear delivery of the audition material, including all aspects included on the page, as well as accurate intonation and a steady pulse whenever appropriate. Now, even that may sound like a pretty tall order, but by keeping these clear goals in mind, it can take some of the guesswork as to what makes a good audition. And as you schedule practice time to work on preparing for your audition, it can help you to structure your time to concentrate on those factors that will make the biggest difference in the quality of your audition. Now, with this in mind, as we're preparing the G minor etude on page 16 of the Selected Studies by Luft, we can relax a little bit in terms of the tempo. Here, the suggested tempo is for the dotted quarter note to equal 40 beats a minute, which will allow us to play um, even 16th note section with a lot of ease and grace. Also notice the marking dolce, which means sweetly, and think about how you might approach tone and vibrato with this in mind. I prefer to add vibrato on anything longer than an eighth note in this particular etude, which will mostly be the dotted quarter notes at the ends of phrases. Regarding articulation, be sure to think of the accents as breath accents as opposed to tongue accents. Use your air to create emphasis on these notes and avoid using a hard or harsh articulation to maintain the sweet character. Also notice the dynamic contrast in this etude, alternating between piano and forte characters. This is very important to realize for a successful audition. And lastly, for this particular etude, even though it is a slower selection than our next uh, etude, it's still very important that we play the rhythms, especially the 16th note rhythms, accurately and evenly. Follow the shape of the line while maintaining an even sound and tempo throughout the 16th note passage. Moving on to the C minor etude, also by Luft, on page 26, um, our initial focus should be on steady pulse while delivering accurate notes and articulations, as the rhythms here are pretty straightforward, almost entirely eighth notes. Rather than starting right away at the suggested audition tempo of quarter note equals 200, find a tempo that allows you to play the most difficult material comfortably and accurately. You may want to split this particular etude up into two large sections before and after the fermata at the end of the sixth line. Which measures are the hardest for you to play? Which ones require the most attention or the hard and are the hardest for you to realize? Find the tempo where you can play these measures evenly and accurately, even if it's much slower than the indicated tempo. Use this tempo um, as, this, as the tempo you'll practice this particular section as. Um, once it gets easier and easier and you're able to play it with um, a much more relaxed approach, then speed up the metronome and try it again. Repeat this process many times until you can start to approach the uh, suggested audition tempo. And do the same thing for the back half of the etude as well. 
The biggest challenge in the second half of the etude will be the breathing. Unless you can circular breathe, it's going to be more or less impossible to make it through this entire section in one breath, even at a very fast tempo. I suggest leaving a few notes out on the and of one in measures 40, 48, and 56 to make it easier to play in a relaxed fashion and with an even sound, even through this very difficult section. You can experiment with different locations for this technique as suits your abilities, but strive to use as few as possible while still being able to play with a great sound and even rhythm. Another option would be to play into a downbeat and then add time before continuing the line, taking a breath during this pause. But I prefer the option that I outlined um, because it, in a piece like this, it allows the pulse to keep moving and allows us to maintain the character of this particular etude. And then some final quick tips for this uh, particular etude would be to use the alternate G flat key in measures 38 and 50 and the side B flat in measures 41, 42, 53, and 54. This will reduce the likelihood of sloppy technique as a result of cross fingerings or trying to slide between the keys. Thanks so much for listening today. I hope these tips are helpful in your preparations, and I hope I have the chance to hear you very soon to enjoy the fruits of all your labors. Take care. Thanks so much for watching this Colorado Allstate prep video. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit music.colostate.edu for more information, including the opportunity to schedule an individual visit with the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. Good luck on your audition.